Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to go more in depth um, how you set up the R4 card um, in order to run all your emulators and the uh, DS games. Um, so for this, you're going to need the R4 card. Doesn't matter what version it is. Um, you're going to need a micro SD adapter. Uh, so you're able to connect to your PC. Um, you're going to need a micro SD card. Mine's just a 4 gigabyte. And obviously you're going to need a DS or DSi. I'm going to be using my uh, DSi XL. Um, so I'm going to leave this link in the description for this page where you download the kernel. Um, so you just scroll down until you see multifunctional integrated system so you just download that um, it'll come in a zip format so I'll show you what it looks like so there it is it'll just come in a, with a whole bunch of numbers um, just unzip it this is what it's going to look like this is all the files you need to transfer over to your um, micro SD card um, now I'm going to show you what mine looks like so plug in your adapter to your PC so here's all my files um, I created a Game Boy Advance folder uh, where I have the emulator separate. Um, I also created a uh, DS folder for all the DS games. Um, I have four DS games, um, all Pokemon, just different versions, just to test it out. Um, I also created a ROMs folder so this will have all the ROMs for your emulators so Game Boy I just have one just for as an example Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color Neo Geo NES PC Engine Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. So that's basically all the emulators I have that come in the card. Um, now we'll uh, plug the card into the DSi and I will show you um, how to set it up and what it looks like. Okay now over on your DS or DSi um, take your R4 card uh, with a micro SD card with all the files uh, put it in your DS or DSi Let's power it on there you go so on my card, I have a uh, 2022. Um, this one actually says uh, Deep Lady Birth Atlas USA. Um, yours is uh, going to be different if it's, a, if it's a different card. But it basically does the same thing. So you know, all you got to do is press E to start it. Should take you right into a menu. This is a 3DS menu. Um, so this is all your... Uh, folders for your ROMs um, so NDS um, Nintendo Super Nintendo a Game Boy and Game Boy Color Sega Genesis PC Engine Neo Geo Atari and then this is just for music so to go into your folders all you gotta do is press A this takes you to your SD card um, here's all your files. You can load stuff right from here. 
Um, so first we'll do the DS games just to uh, show you how it works. So I went to my folder DS games, so press A, and there's my Pokemon games. So three Pokemon games, so I'll just start one up quickly. There you go. So pretty much every DS game works perfectly. Now let's go back. Um, let's go back to the same folder. Um, so here's my ROMs folder on the root of the card. So then you just go through all your um, emulators so you load one it shows you what game it is and what system it's for so um, let's load it back up we'll just start one emulator just, just so you can see how it works so we'll start the uh, Nintendo one Press A, go into your ROMs folder, um, NES, and then there's the game, uh, Flintstones game. Press A, and it loads up perfectly. Let's go back. load up another DS game there you go um, so that's basically how you set up the R4 card um, I will leave the link in the description for the kernel um, I hope you enjoy the video uh, please like comment and subscribe and on to the next one